walking down 9th Avenue, heading toward Golden Gate Park. It's about the middle of the park entrance here. I thought I'd start this in this area because it's a great location for restaurants. In fact, this place over here, the sushi place, I rather enjoy. It's a postmodern architectural design. I think post-postmodern architecture might end up being something like, uh, ooh, we don't even need boxes anymore. Coming past uh, Walter Adams' frame shop, here. they do exceptionally good work. One of the uh, San Francisco designers. Park Chow is one of the more well-known restaurants among the locals. It's here on 9th between Irving and Lincoln. If you ever get to San Francisco, try it out. It's really good food. You can see the park is ahead of us. Very exciting. I love this park. There are so many beautiful places in it. It's just a never-ending source of inspiration. It's a Mazala Indian cuisine. I've not tried this place yet, but I'm tempted. Indian food is exceptionally good. And Pacific Catch, a new fish place. Yes, indeed, the fish in San Francisco is great. I'm going to take you in through the back. We're coming up on the back door to the Arboretum, which is the quickest way to one of my cherry tree subjects. I've been painting the cherry trees in Golden Gate Park for a dozen years now, and I come at all seasons. They are, some of them are like early risers. They wake up around, ooh, the end of February, and then they drop their leaves late November, and others don't get going until mid-March and they keep their leaves well through December. This one that we're going to go see is one of the early risers. In fact, I have never caught it in first bloom. So this year I think I'm going to try looking sometime in February to see if it's awake. But this is the uh, arboretum that we're walking through now. One of the back paths. Okay, this is the locale. You know, just any time of day, the light is interesting. It's a subdued late afternoon fog on December 3rd. And there's the tree. Very few leaves left. One of its neighbors here, a baby, still has leaves on it. I love the way the branches move around on the cherry tree. And then also, in the springtime, the blossoms make them look like floating clouds in the landscape. I'm continuing on my walk. I'm going to go through the Arboretum, over past the De Young Museum. I just love this late winter night. There's a stream here that I have to cross. and I've taken a wrong turn, so I have to backtrack, get to see this from the other side. 
back on the path again. Well, there are many paths. This is just the right path for the where I want to go. Here is a really sweet magnolia with one blossom getting ready. Oh, one starting. Beautiful late autumn. Everywhere you look, just sheer beauty. This is the main park ground of the Arboretum. Some of the uh, trees are losing their leaves and flowers still in bloom. We get a freeze maybe once every 10, 12 years. That kills a lot of the plants, but then they come back. Here's another grouping that I visit annually, biannually, quarterly. I think they're crab apples and some cherry. Most of them have gone to sleep, but some of them are still having leaves. Once you get into the park, you can just barely hear the city. place is such a blessing. And here are my crab and cherry trees again from this side. Another view. I love the trees. And a couple of more subjects here. These guys are late risers and as you can see, they still have their leaves and are just only now thinking about turning. This is one of my favorite areas of the Arboretum. It's, the plants make me think of, oh, I don't know, a place to see in the era and the dinosaurs. And, These creatures are the most outrageous. They're huge. Look at this leaf. How big. And I really like it with the uh, sunlight showing through it, that interesting green. Bamboo next door, and on we go.